And last but not least, I have to tell you about my friend Marty. Marty is a mover and a shaker in Las Vegas. And he told me about this time he was looking at doing a business deal with some of his associates. And they chose the restaurant. They were in LA, the business was in LA. He flew down there, rented a limousine, the car pulls up to the valet, and he went in and he schmoozed with everybody in the restaurant. Right, as they had just opened like 11.30. He had a wad of 20s, he tipped the manager, gave Bobby at the bar 40 bucks to send over a round of drinks, gave Shirley a 20, told her, you know, my wife is Lynette, she's not here with me, tipped the bar boy or the bus boy, told him about his dog, goes back out and sits in the limousine and waits for these guys to pull up. Pulls up again, his driver lets him out of the car. Hey guys, how you doing? They all walk into the restaurant together and the maitre d' says, Marty, I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> so they, Shirley's waiting for you, we have your favorite table. Takes them all back. These guys are like, they chose the restaurant. Marty's owning it, right? So they get seated at their table. Pretty soon, Billy the busboy comes by to fill their water glasses. Hey, Marty, how's that dog Sadie doing? He goes, oh, Sadie's great. She with you? No, no, left her at home, just down for the day. Pretty soon, Shirley the waitress comes by and says, Marty, is your beautiful wife Lynette with you here today? He says, no, no, she's at home. This is just a business trip. Pretty soon, Bobby sends over a round of drinks for the whole table. They are amazed. Who is this Marty guy and how does he own this restaurant? And he said that on their way out when they were done, they immediately moved into negotiations. Apparently these guys were reluctant to get into business with Marty because the business was based in LA and they were afraid he'd be like a fish out of water. And he just so owned this restaurant. Again, you're only limited by your own creativity. Planning ahead, being prepared, you can go to any restaurant, and I'll tell you what, servers in restaurants love a good scheme. They will help you, you know, like guys proposing and putting the diamond ring in the chocolate mousse, bad idea, uh, or in the glass of champagne, but, but you know, they love to collaborate with you. They will be your best helper. So, and that's why it pays too to go to a great restaurant, a great restaurant for a business lunch consistently, okay?